to show something for bottom half guard. It's partially an attack that allows me to do a Kimura from bottom half guard. It's also something to help do a reversal to if someone starts to pass your half guard. Okay. So we're going to start from half guard. Okay. Right? Oftentimes we're using our knee shield, all that, getting our arm tucked in. Okay. This gives me an opportunity. If he applies pressure, I can come up and feed him to my armpit, and this will allow me to grab a Kimura. Okay. So your basic Kimura from half guard, right? I get my position, I secure his arm. I'm gonna plant my foot on the other side and I'm going to start to shrimp myself out and get my shin into where the pocket on his pants would be, right? Right inside this hip, right? Now that my foot's down over here, I can bring it back up and I'm gonna press away and I'm gonna turn a little bit and bring myself out to 90 degrees. Now, I can fully egg beater this thing out if I want to, but I like to apply this pressure because now I'm pushing away from him at the hip with my leg, but I'm also allowing me to turn and finish my Kimura. Okay. All right, so again, I'm in half guard. I've got my knee shield. When I feel that pressure, I slip it and put his deltoid in my armpit and snatch this Kimura. Okay, I get here. This leg's free. I'm gonna plant it. I'm gonna shrimp my hips and then I'm gonna get my shin in his hip, almost like a little butterfly hook underneath. Then I'm gonna use that to press his hip away, come back and turn. If he drops that leg, that's gonna make it easy to bring this into a full Kimura position. Then I can finish. Okay, so there's your Kimura attack from here. Okay, something else I do a lot of is I use, we use frames to help prevent our uh, opponent from passing, right? We use this frame a lot, right? We're trying to control them from coming forward. We're using this to control here, down here, foot on the gas, all these things, right? So what I'll do oftentimes is when they start to drive down, right, I'm going to get control of his wrist. I'm going to put his wrist in his pocket. I'm not going all the way up for a Kimura this time. I'm going to put his wrist in his pocket by scooting. Now, I have my elbow framed against the ground. Anytime he starts to lean or put pressure on, it's getting him up and over his balance point, right? I get him up and over his balance point. That allows me to take some control over his weight, especially with my other legs, right? I can start to control his hips. Once his hips are in control, I'm in a much better position to start manipulating his balance and be able to pull off sweeps and different things, give myself space to get my guard back and so forth. So what I'm doing is I'm putting his hand in, putting his wrist in his pocket, okay? Now, once I get to here, I can open up my half guard to help him think that he's gonna pass. So when he starts to lean forward and give me that pressure, when I release my half guard, he's gonna start coming around to the side. What I do is get underneath of him and push him over top of me using the wrist connection to the hip. Right. So, one more time. Right, we're fighting around, we're doing whatever. I get a connection to his wrist. I curl in and connect his wrist to his hip. When he starts to lean forward, it allows me to lift, right? You get this roly-poly action. Here, he drives in, I open up my half guard. When he starts to move around, I'm pushing him over his shoulder. I can follow it up to here. I can turn this into a power Kimura. All kinds of goodies, okay? All right, you can also do this if you attack the Kimura first, all right?
right? I get here, he drives, he gives me that Kimura. I'm going a lot of times guys will tuck their hand in for you, right? They're putting their hand in their pocket for you. So I keep this connection, I'm curling in and underneath him, and then I let my half guard go, and I dump right over to here. I can either take the back, I can turn it into a Kimura, I can do a leg scissor, lots of different toys to play with. So there you go. One of my friends called this the Jedi trick. So <laughs> it's really effortless if you know how to do it. Um, it works fairly well. So I hope you share and enjoy it.